Hello, everybody. My name is Kira, or Kira Howard, so you could have been Moby. Oh, never was that. Um, so we're all familiar with like the Kids program, right? Like elementary, middle, high school. Yeah. So I have a friend that was with the programming. Now, I don't know if you know what kindergarten is. Um, not a lot of opportunity to demonstrate academic excellence. So every time I'm talking to this friend, who's an idiot by the way. Every time I'm talking to him, I'm just like, what could this man have possibly done to show that he was exceptional? Like, was his implantation into embryo better than everyone else's? I just don't understand. And he was also the only person in the program at that time, which makes me think that he like made a deal with a witch for like forbidden knowledge and prestige. And the witch warned him that there would be a price to pay, but like all great heroes, his hubris got the best of him. He did not hear him. He knew Calgo move before everyone else, but at what cost? Solitary confinement. Yeah, I got into the gifted program in third grade like a normal person. Um, it's when you're learning your timetable, so I guess I'll try to do it. Yeah, they took me aside and they were like, here. You know seven times. There's nothing left for us to do. So rather than learning, broadening your athletic mind, how about you and know, six other kids go take some tooth for an hour? And I was like, I like the way you think. <laughs> I'm nine. <laughs> yeah. It's weird that that's what the gifted program was. Like, why would you even call it that at that point? Like, just call it what it was. These kids were having anxiety attacks in class. How disruptive. <laughs> the only thing that I developed faster than everybody else at that time was an existential crisis. They were like, I'll give you 10 points on class dojo if you stop crying about the inevitability of death. <laughs> Speaking of death, um, show of hands, how many people have been zapped with, like, a medical grade leave? Okay, so this is not going to be a very relatable story. That's okay. Um, so I was there with a laser by a doctor to see if I had a disease. I do. Um, it's a disease that primarily affects the nerves in my leg. It makes it feel like I'm being stabbed with pins and needles. Not all the time. Not enough. Um, zapping somebody in the legs who already feels like they're being stabbed did feel a little bit counterproductive to me. It kind of felt like it was in the same vein as when you would like stub your toe as a kid and then your friend would like punch you in the face and be like, no, you don't have to worry about your toe anymore. But it was a doctor. So they finished zapping me with lasers for 15 minutes and then they were like, all right, I think it's time for, and I was like, a break? And they were like, to stab you. And I was like, oh, how silly. Um, so they got a needle-sized microphone and they put it in my leg, and they're like, okay, now we're gonna listen to your nerves. And I was like, listen to my nerves? This is Barnes Jewish Community Hospital, not Dr. <laughs> my nerves should sound like teenage angst, not the ocean. Um, the nerves in your legs sound like the ocean, by the way. Or at least they do if they don't work right. Um, take it with a grain of salt. Um, enough about my laser legs, though. I can feel you itching for more relatable content. Um, breakups, am I right? Yeah, breakups are weird. Because it's always like, it's always the same thing. It's always like, I found an ex cheating. It's never like, I found an ex that marks the spot of buried treasure and I'm rich, my life's gonna be so much better now. I've run into uh, many an ex partner over the course of my life. Never under bridges beyond my wildest dreams. It's sad. Yeah, um, obviously, I'm not a deadpan comedian. I am, however, a deadpan conversationalist because I can't multitask. <laughs> so I can only do one thing at a time. Like when I'm talking to somebody new, I can smile silently or I can talk to you like I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Take the shot. <laughs> yeah, it's creepy either way, so pick your poison, I guess. I've got nobody to blame except for myself, though. I'm sure they taught us how to socialize as kids. I was just too busy putting puff paint on a race car in the gifted room, so that is my time. Thank you, everybody.